welcome. I'm Kaylee O'Donnell from the Technical Documentation Team at MSCRM Add-ons. And today I'm going to go over the different options for inserting images into Documents Core Pack template. Now, a common use case that I'll go over later in this video is inserting product images into a quote document. Now let's get started. But first I'll go over the two options for inserting images into Documents Core Pack template, which are inserting as a picture field or inserting as a picture link field. Now, Documents Core Pack supports that images be embedded from different sources. For example, you can embed images that have been stored as entity images in image fields or as the note attachments in Dynamics 365. Documents Core Pack also supports that images be embedded from external sources like SharePoint via a link stored in a Dynamics 365 record. For the picture field option, this fully downloads images from the original source and directly embeds them into the final document. This option should be used if your intended output is meant to be a file of some sort, such as a PDF or a Word document, essentially anything other than an email. Now, on the other hand, the picture link field option should primarily be used if your intended output is an email body. This option is also preferable if you're looking to include many images within your document as it maintains a smaller file size. This option directs users to an online storage location for the image, which is hence why they're very able to maintain a smaller file size. Essentially, this option allows you to use picture fields and clickable images. Now that you know a bit more about the two options for inserting images into your document's core pack templates, I'll run through an example of my own where I will insert product images into a quote document. Let me open up my environment and we can get started. Okay, now I've now accessed my Dynamics 365 environment. And from here, I wanna check that the products that are attached to this quote have entity images linked to them. So here are all the products attached to this quote. I will select one randomly and make sure that there's an entity image attached. Okay, and here you can see that we have our product and here we have an image saved for that product um, right here. So that has been checked and I checked our other products earlier and those also have the images attached. So we're good to move forward. From here, I'll navigate to Word and open up the template that we will be using for this example. Okay, so I've now accessed Word. This is the quote document that we will be using and I want to put the product images into. As you can see, this is where the product name will be, the quantity, the price, et cetera. And over here on the far left is where I want those images to be inserted. Now to get started, I will navigate to the MSCRM add-ons tab and select insert mail merge fields so we can have our options on our fields to insert. From here, I'll actually navigate to the additional tab because we have a relationship here we have to use since we have the quote, the product attached to the quote and then the entity images attached to that product. So there's a few more steps involved. From here, I will scroll down to where we have our product listed and I will expand this menu and find the entity image option, which is here. Now for this example, my intended output will be a Word document. So I will insert this as a picture field. I will do so by navigating to this insert field dropdown. And for my example, I'll select insert entity image as a picture field. However, if you would prefer the picture link field option, this is where you would select that as well. I'll go ahead and make my selection. And as you can see, a placeholder image is inserted here. Now that is all I need to do for now. And we, the next step we would do is to test our template and make sure that it is working with some sample data. To do this, I will now navigate to the choose data button in the MSCRM add-ons tab. I will yes, make sure to save the template. And then once that loads, I will have the option to pick the data we wanna test against. So I'll search through our active quote records. I will select the record I shared earlier, the laptops, monitors, and services. And then I hit the select button. After I hit select, it can sometimes take a moment. The final document with the data from that quote will be pulled into this template and we can make sure that it is working as anticipated. And here it is loading. Okay, okay here it is. And yes, I can see that my images were pulled in correctly as desired. Um, we also made sure that all of our other information has been pulled in correctly, but the main priority of course is the images and they are good to go. And yes, yeah, so that concludes the demo portion of this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And as always, please feel free to subscribe to our channel to avoid missing updates in the future. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all and have a great day.